Okay, sorry about that. Just wanted to take a little break really quick um, before I hop back into these. So um, now we're under uh, Robert's Moon. Now, uh, Robert, I'm not going to talk grades with you, but know that you know this turned in late, so that doesn't really count. Um, so uh, I may consider giving you um, a few points on that, but I mean, you completely missed the deadline um, and didn't. Uh, have anything to show the client on the day we met with them so um, I'll give you feedback on how to improve it but it's not going to count as a, a full project grade by any means so let's go ahead and start looking at what it is Jesus, Jesus Saturn's okay. second moon is also one of the brightest due to a sand so effect from Saturn's we're watching moon. it on the moon so far we the haven't e really seen anything in our primary focus Saturn's doing some stuff over here and south. off Back behind us, this moon kind of drifts in from the top, is a large trench and it's just kind of a slow Ithaca push in on the moon. It formed when the surface of Tethys froze faster than um, the interior. I also don't hear really Causing any editing at all on the uh, it is on the um, audio. Uh, you still have mispron mispronunciations and mistakes in there, uh, so definitely need some editing on the audio. At this point, we fill up almost the entire view above us with um, with this and so and there's a quick pan around it so what we discovered in the dome the other night is this makes people nauseous like this is like you get motion sick from watching this and so if you want to see that it kind of feels like this long, all the time it one right? of the most notable features um, of the moon and so my first comments are, my, my biggest comments are that there's not really that much animation on it. We have one camera push, and then we have the, uh, we have the moon sinking down into it, which is, was probably just a basic blend shape on, on this mesh. Uh, so this isn't really giving us very much information. Um, this is way too big, we're way close in there. Causing the um, to dip. So this is actually it back is behind us, and then of course that camera jump and more than fakes us out, long, um, making it one of the most notable features and then that of the moon. Probably would really make us dizzy in there as well with all the stars swimming that quickly. Um, so first thing, the, the main thing, test it out in the viewer to see if Saturn you're actually Saturn. seeing what you mean the to see. Like, um, water ice the second thing is generated by Enceladus. You kind of have like one. Long shot Among the moon's many craters, um, that doesn't really give us very much information except for part of the ground it fell in. It formed um, when the surface of Tethys froze faster, and than the there was very little editing on the audio. The so these are things that it is you know, drastically need to be wide, improved. And, more than 2, um, and then this, long, in terms of framing, is um, really bad. So it looks like maybe there's three shots. Um, that last shot Jesus, being probably Saturn's the best one that we, we kind of get a, a shot the of the moon in relation to uh, e in relation to its planet. The so e um, so let's go ahead and open up the next one. Um, if you want, and Robert, if you need to speak with me about um, why your grade worked the way it was, again, I'm, I'm going to give you a, a very small percentage of, of uh, the grade for the final turning in and then you get the same amount of points as you would on the the milestones that you have if you if you have all of them I haven't really checked um, and so the milestones are um, essentially worth 10 points each I believe um, I'll have to double check on the the assignment but they you know if you have all three of them you know then that's a, a maximum of 30 points uh, for that but um, will you I just can't give anywhere near full credit for something that just didn't meet the deadline. So, um, Herschel, let's see. Um, I'm going to play yours, Herschel, with uh, without the audio because this one didn't have audio on it. Um, I let's see if I can remember what's going on with this. Okay. There we go. So, I think I need to stop moving my camera. Okay. 
let's start that one again. Let's playing kind of strange play. So I think we all remember that that was a little um, dizzying uh, to have Saturn up there, and we get that stretching of it. So just work a little bit on the framing of this. I actually kind of like your interpretation of the environment around the planet. Um, but it, it needed a little bit of work on render quality. Uh, the mountains on this look really good, but I think again we're, we're we need to work on that camera lens length that I talk about in the first video. So let's see if I got it here, like you know, setting this camera um, to kind of point upward a little bit, and then reducing our um, lens uh, our focal length to something you know, kind of ridiculously low, like 10. And then what we're going to get is these angles start to roll inward and hopefully would make a little bit more of a, a nice angle on it and flatten that out a little bit more. So play around with that and see if you're getting a, a better a better option. It's kind of the um, the poor man's solution to to the uh, uh, to using the fisheye lens to get that distortion on the ground. Um, the alternative is using the dome tools and I, I think that it's going to be a uh, uh, a little bit more of a, a pain in the butt to make that work right. So um, let's pop this back up. Um, I really liked how your steam was working in the uh, in the preview, but it's feeling very twitchy and broken now. And I wonder if that had something to do with caching. Like if you need to cache out that. Uh, so this is just artifacting from the compression. For some reason, this player doesn't like it. Um, so again. This is way big, and I can get that more down in here where we can see the uh, the actual objects. Maybe that being um, the the moon, and then you know, that being Saturn over here, or something like something where it just feels a little bit more, uh, you know, realistic or not realistic, but like not uh, this all-encompassing like giant thing. Um, next thing I notice, like, yeah, again, the last thing I think the way you want this to kind of try to wrap around the dome is like probably something like this, right? We get a little bit more going off to the side, maybe get this crevice going down the middle, and then um, you know maybe even opening up a little bit more toward us, and then these the steam kind of like through here and. And over here, you get this, you know, the steam. Like, it's. I think that this is more the shape you're going for um, than this giant like thing that reaches up toward the center, because it, then it just feels like we're like climbing up a mountain, not sort of going along the surface. And I think the steam feels like it's not being cached or something, because what happens is it like gets really flickery as it goes up, and that makes me think that it was trying to simulate it as it was rendering. Um, so I don't know what you're using. Um, to get that, I believe you're probably using fluids, right? Fluid effects. So you'll just create a new cache for your fluids, and that and store that in your project that you upload to the network for the the render farm. And so it should pull the simulation from that cache instead of trying to do it real time. And I, I think that that's the flickering you're getting. It, like I'd be interested to see is that like how it was looking to you in the preview, or um, um, or if that was. Uh, uh, an issue you're getting uh, separately from that. Um, hold on one second.